So let me introduce myself. My name is Kamrul Hassan Sojib and I am from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I have a YouTube channel, Inbox Roadmap. You did contact through my YouTube channel and you want to do training for the Power MTA installation. And in this video, in this training session, I'm going to show you how to set up self-hosted email marketing server Power MTA inside Contabo BPS server then send unlimited email. So let's get started. Let me share my screen. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yeah, sure. I can see your screen very well. Okay, so for Power MT SMTP server setup for sending unlimited email, we need a Linux BPS server with port 25 open and we need domain login details. We purchase our BPS server from Contabo and B domain we purchase from Namesilo. Then we updated our name server to Namesilo use it Cloudflare name server. Our name server is still pending, but it will be active within an hour. First of all, we need to log in to our BPS server. Here for login to our BPS server, I use Bitbytes SH client. So download this Bitbytes SH client from through this URL Bitbytes SH client, just click download. I already downloaded this Bitbytes SH client, so you, so I not downloading this software. Then just open our Bitbytes SH client. Now log in to our BPS server. This is our BPS server IP. And put the BPS server password. Click login. Click accept and save. So we successfully logged into our BPS server. Now go to next step. Step add all DNS A records. So we need to add some DNS A record inside our domain. Go to domain, then click DNS. If that has been activated successfully, the DNS is okay. Okay, click add record and type A. Put a name. You can use any prefix. Here I using hostname as server and put our BPS server IP. Did you purchase any additional IP from Contabo? No, only just one IP. Okay, so we can skip this step as we don't have any additional IP. Click save. Now go to next step. Binding additional IP process. We can skip step two. Because okay, you, sure. you did not purchase the additional IP, so the, the, let me I click IP management. You only have the BPS server IP, so we can skip this step. Step. But what was was the what's the importance of getting additional IP? What was it? When you purchase the BPS server, you will see option to buy the additional IP. Okay, and what was that one for? The additional IP? Okay, uh, you can read this block for binding additional IP. I'm sending you this block. You can take help from here for binding additional IP. Okay. Okay. Now, step three, reverse DNS add. So go to 
Contabo, then click reverse DNS management. Mm -hmm. Now click edit. Now reverse DNS will be server dot our domain name. dot our domain name click save now we added reverse dns so we can check next step added host name so we need to update the host name of the bps server so go mm -hmm. to this directory etc directory Click new SFTP window of the BPS server for go to file manager. Click etc. Now inside this directory, we will look for a file name host name. So look host name. Host name. So just edit this file, open this file. Now put our host name server dot our domain name okay don't keep any space at the end of the domain otherwise it will produce error so be careful when you do copy paste of the domain name okay. now we updated our host name let's also update the host name yes we updated our host name now go to next step well and add this then reboot our bp server using this command reboot Now click new terminal console. Now click right side of your mouse pointer so that it will be paste automatically. Okay, click hit enter. So after one minute, our server will be restart. Like if you upgrade your computer, then you need to restart your computer for fully upgrade. Understand? We changed our DPS server host name. That's why we reboot our DPS server. Okay. Now, go to next step. SPF record. So we need to add a SPF record for verify our domain you cannot send email from facebook.com for m from amazon.com because you will not have you, you you will not get permission to send email if you add spf record dcam record dmark record for this domain then you will get permission for sending email using this domain that's why you need to put your ip inside the domain so just replace you have only one ip so delete this additional ip and keep a space now replace this ip with your bps server ip your bps server ip copy your bps server ip now put this spf record copy this go to domain click add record type will be text and host name will be at the end okay click save we are using cloudflare dns because it is easy for dns management even a beginner can use cloudflare Okay. I have a call, just let me stop the recording, hold on.
so we added SPF record now go to next step we need to add DMARC record copy this DMARC record click add record type will be text put the DMARC record and host name should be underscore DMARC okay Okay. But how did you generate the DMARC record? I already generated the DMARC record and this DMARC record is same for all. Uh, so why did you generate the DMARC record for? DMARC record is used for domains, mail sender domain authentication. Like I'm saying, why did you generate it for? For mail sender domain authentication. Like, yeah, I, I know. I said, why did you generate it? Like, where did you got it from? Like, where did you generate it from? Because I see this website that generates the Mac records and DKM records. DKM record and DMARC record. DMARC record mm -hmm. value is same. DMARC record value is same. You just use my DMARC record that I sent. Okay? You know, okay. okay, sure. MX record was the video. Okay. For adding MX record, click add record. And we need to add a DNS record like IP and mail. Click save. Now click add record. Type MX, put the MS record value mail dot our domain name and at the rate priority. In okay, this is the MS record adding process. Now go to DCAM record, watch the video for creating DCAM record. Go to this Spark Post website. Spark Post. Ecam record website. Now put our domain name. Then key should be key one. Okay. Then click create keys. Now we now we will we will get two records one record is public key another record private key so copy public key copy this public key now go to cloud open a note file Now you need to delete slash. You need to delete slash from public key. Slash before semicolon. Now copy this public key. Now go to Cloudflare. Click add record. Type will be text. Okay. Now put mm -hmm. the public key value. Now hostname should be this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Copy. Okay. Now paste. And click save changes. Now we have a private key. Now go now open our file manager of the BPS server. Click new SFTP window. Now inside the file manager, click create a folder name. Write your domain name. Give a folder using you domain name, create a folder inside the root directory. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now inside the root directory, open this directory, create a file named dkim.pem. Okay. Yeah. Now inside yeah. the file, open put the private key value. Okay. Okay. When you copy this private key, don't keep any space at the end of the value. 
otherwise okay. it will be produce otherwise it will produce error put the private key and at the end of the key don't keep any space click save now go to next step go to not file Did we put our value? Yes, we. Yeah, yeah we did this already. Yeah. Okay. Now go to note file again. Using this note file, we will we complete our training. Just copy paste. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now go to the go to directory root directory. Mm -hmm. Click new asset window. to read root directory now upload our power mta file now browse our computer now go to directory so Upload powermta.rpm file inside the root directory. So it will take some time for upload. Just wait and see. We can stop our recording during this time. So our powermta.rpm file upload is now complete. Now go to next step. Open. Upload PMT file. Now go to this directory CD root. Okay. Mm -hmm. Click new terminal console. Mm -hmm. Now write this command. So it is started. PowerMT installation is starting. Mm -hmm. So it is okay. Now we need to apply license. Mm -hmm. Clear. Now go to file manager. Now go to this directory users slash as bin. Inside the directory, upload two files. Mm -hmm. Before uploading file, we need to stop the power empty. Run this command. Mm Now upload, apply the license. Inside the file, inside the directory, upload to file. User slash has been upload. Override. So it will take some time, like one or two minutes. We can stop the recording for reducing the time, recording time. So our PMTD and PMT HTTPD file upload is complete. Now go to this directory.
etc slash pmta set this directory upload license file license key just upload now go to next step write this command next next now start the power mta before start this power mta we need to customize our power mta configuration file okay so go okay. to just open power mta configuration file delete all the default mm -hmm. configuration now open power mt configuration file Open this file inside a notepad plus plus editor. Mm -hmm. Now hostname should be your domain name. Server dot our domain name office three sixty five dot Okay. Now scroll down. scroll down so look at here you need to mm -hmm. replace this domain with your own domain and smtp host put you replace this ip with your own ip mm -hmm. now also replace this domain now domain key replace this domain using your own domain and inside this directory mm -hmm. root slash your domain name slash dkm.pm so we have a file inside this path mm -hmm. inside okay. this directory path we have a dkm dot private key file for when we send email power empty dkm authentication will be passed if you add this okay now we don't have any multiple ip so we can delete all of the script ip2 and just put this same and put our ip here put you so you can just so you can just use um find and replace all right Put your anyway. server IP here and host name. Put replace host name. S -E -R -P -E -R dot. Then SMTP listener. Then also delete this virtual empty IP. Put this one. And this is the SMTP server username and password. You can change this. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the SMTP server username port underscore 25. And this is the password. You can change okay. the password. Now we change it everything. Now copy this configuration file. I will send you this config configuration file. Or you can download okay. this configuration file from BPS server directory. Okay, now okay. replace this file with this. Now save this file inside the BPS. Mm -hmm. Now go to next step. 
we are done we configured our power mt now we need to start our power mt now we need to write this command we already did this yeah so you have to start now just we need to start So our power MT is running OK green signal. Now also power MT console run run this command. Our power MT console also running. Go to next step. If you face any issue, run this command for debug. Edit configuration file etc slash pmt config. We already did this. Also we already mm -hmm. did this. Okay. We already okay, sure. did this phone number step. Now go to PR Power MT console. Mm -hmm. Put our hostname server dot and we will send a test email from here server dot open this. Go to this website link. Server dot. Six double three two one. What happened? We need to unblock this port 63321. We need to unblock this port using this command, okay? Okay. That's why just run this command and unblock 63321 port. Okay? Okay, sure. Now, if you visit and see what happened. Now we need to restart our power MTA. Power MTA HTTP stop. HTTP start. Now try to access. Six. What's wrong? Why are we not getting access of the power MTA console? Yes, did you did you restart it? I you didn't you, you didn't stop and restart. You didn't stop and start. You just oh, I did not restart it. Oh yeah. You didn't stop it. Okay. You have to. I so set up um, to restart. To okay. Restart it. Stop. Mm -hmm. stop. Another one to stop. stop. Before you start. Try to access six double three one. Is this port six double three two one? Look at the configuration file. What is the port of the power MT console? Uh, I saw twenty five. No, it is not. It is the it is not six double three two two one. This one. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Six double three two one. Six double three two one. It is okay. Why it is not working? I go in server. Server. I see a view. Look at. At the top server, port. this double three two one. Let's 
Sadly. Easy double kill scoop one. Check if there is typo in server error. If we visit to our IP. Easy double three two one. Mm. Yeah, it is working. Okay. Maybe okay. we did a type mistake or in error. Or our DNS. Our DNS not updated. Let's wait. Hold on. Maybe our DNS not up. Our domain. Our domain is active. Let's ping our domain. Let's send a test email from our server so that we can check. Okay. So our power. Yeah. This is our power MT console. Mm -hmm. Now go GMAS SMTP to test our power MTA server. So SMTP server host name should be should be server dot our domain name username SMTP server username port 25 this is the smtv server username port 25 password this is the password of the smtp okay and uh, our verified domain name info at the rate our verified domain name you can use any prefix info at the rate or sales at the rate. Mm -hmm. at the rate. Our verified domain name. This one. So you can use any name. You cannot use any domain. You only need to use. No, I mean this. I mean the sales or info or whatever. So it means it can be spoofed. Yes, right? you can use any mm -hmm. any from him, any prefix before at the rate. But this domain should be verified. Okay, sure. Email this domain we added SPF DCAM demand record for this domain. Okay, okay, yeah, sure. Now go to mail test server. Are your domain is new or hmm. old? No, it's, it's a new domain, but I'll, I'll find old domains and use them. Port would be so, two five. To fight, okay. okay. Check our power MT console one email sent now in and out one. Now check your score 3.1 out of 10. Let me check what is the issue. DKM signature is not valid. SPF okay. DKM signature is not valid. You are listed in one network in reds all. Your IP is blacklisted already in reds all. And spam and things. SPF hello none. Okay. SPF hello none. Let's fix this. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is not a do dot com domain. This is a top dot top domain that's why it's deducted minus 1.725 score okay okay you need to buy a dot com domain for configuration power mta and spf okay. hello none let's fix this and we also fix dcam record and we look <laughs> at this blacklisted option okay so okay, let's sure. fix this issue for making this score for increasing this score Mm -hmm. Go to domain, click add record, put the SPF record for our server name. Sorry, this is big. Sorry, this is SPF record copy. 
click add record click add record now type text the value and it's going to be server okay now okay. We, we are our issue will be fixed step hello none this issue will be fixed and this is the domain issue it is not a dot com domain that's why it's deducted and minus mm -hmm. one minus three score happen at for dcam invalid dcam dcam signature is not valid mm -hmm. go to cloudflare now delete this semicolon double quotation it's not semicolon now did we add the power mtf dcam directory properly Mm, yeah, you are already set. Look at the, the power, power. look at the power empty configuration file. Mm -hmm. So domain key root root slash inside go to this directory. Yeah, we have dcam file private key here, so it is okay. Did we copy our public record properly from mm -hmm. Spark post? Let's send a test email again. Our score increase it. Our DKM okay. You are properly mm -hmm. authenticated. Our SPF okay. DKM okay. DMARC record okay. Reverse mm -hmm. DNS okay. okay. Our MX record okay. Hostname mm -hmm. also okay. You are listed mm -hmm. in blacklisted. Just let's all go to this website. Mm -hmm. Now removal check removal option put your IP here now enter your IP for removal check IP on the list host offender alert your IP is a part of a network listed as a host offender this is a host offender alert and this means that not only this ip address but the whole class c also so that's not an issue okay okay you cannot remove this ip from back blacklisted because previously such similar ip were used for spam okay that's why the such c class ip is listed okay 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 so it's, it's from it's from uh countable right yeah, such similar IP, similar C class, similar IP wire user for spam. That's why such block, such IP is blacklisted inside rats. Mm -hmm. Now let's look. SP fellow none is okay. It is pass, pass. So if you purchase a dot com domain, then your score will be nine. Okay and your no. ip is 9.5 and your ip is blacklisted that's why it will not get 10 out of 10 okay, mm, okay. so this is okay. the complete process of power mt email server setup and look at the mm. power mt console we send total two email from this power mt i will mm -hmm. share power mt configuration file and script with you also share 
power mt installation recording that recording video and mm -hmm. if you have any question you can ask regard regarding ip warm up because when you configure a email server it is good to warm up the ip what is ip warm up like if you send email first day 50 email second day 100 email and you send email every day it called ip warm up if you stop sending email then you will not get any reputation so from your domain send email every day be a serious email sender don't act like spam if you send email suddenly then many spam network many email network technology is smart many network can understand that you're sending spam so try to send email every day so that you will get reputation don't stop sending okay so so uh, well, when i configure my uh, my server like this i have to start sending email whether it's hitting so right now if you send to a row email we'll let him, it's if you hit in inbox, in, inbox or spam just don't care just send email every day so that you will get reputation otherwise if you store if you broke the sending then many network will understand that you're sending spam it is natural it is normal i just giving you this i just telling you from my experience i noticed those who sending email every day he getting reputation mm -hmm. he getting once upon a time he is mail getting in bulk. but mm -hmm. if you don't send email every day if you become lazy then you your server will be useless okay so so send email uh, what about every day me, so okay so right now what about me uh, what about me hitting uh, uh, office 365 inbox you said i need to get a world age to me and after that, I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to, warm, I have to warm in the server and everything be sending, right? Right. Hello. Hello, yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, hello. I was like, uh, yeah, I was like, if I get a well aged domain, then I use. Uh, I update that domain uh, DNS record to my server. I should be able to hit Office 365 inbox, right? After configuration email server, you should follow warm up guideline for inbox. Uh, do you have the guidelines that you can send me? Yes, I can send you the warm up guideline block uh, inside the notepad, and in the video, it will be privacy issue. I will share in the chat, okay? Okay, sure. Oh, okay, then that and I guess that, that's all for now. So and let's see. Um, you can get the SMTP details from the PowerMT configuration file. And also you can- But what about, um, what about the, in your video, the one you did on YouTube, I saw you added an SSL, an SSL certificate to it. Is it already added to this one? You want to add? You want to know how to add SSL certificate inside the power? Yeah. yeah no yeah, problem. Yeah. I will show this process. It is little bit complex process. I will show this SSL certificate configuration process inside the Power MTA. In the next class, I will. I going to show you this script Power MTA SSL configuration script. <laughs> First of all, you need to add a SSL for your host name. Then you need to put this script inside the Power MTA configuration file. Okay. Let me look for the SSL file I, that I have. Because when you, your domain has an SSL, it, it, it makes it, it makes it very very repeatable to hit more do more inboxes this is the script ssl script normally i d did not share this script inside okay okay sure okay we can in the recording and i will share the recording best of luck have a good day bye okay Yeah.